now 1994, and a paranormal crew with a TV show called Sightings comes over to Tony and Deborah's house. They knock at the door. Deborah opens it and says, come on in. All 15 of them piled in to the living room. And as they're standing there, they feel this rush of cold air. And as this air encompasses their bodies, they then feel a static. As every hair on their body stands straight up, they begin to hear a popping sound. So they're looking around, they're like, what is that? And that's when they realize it's coming from their legs. So they grab their mic, they grab a camera, point it down, and film. With each wave of air and static, they hear Tony groan. And as they pan over to him, his arms are bleeding. So they're like, whoa, sit down, Tony, because he was holding his baby. And from there, they got a closer look and watched more for him. They formed on his forehead, they formed on his stomach, and you can watch the unedited clips where they form on camera. Oh, look at that. Oh look at god. that. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. So already, the crew is completely dumbfounded. And Jeff is just dripping blood. So much that they're putting napkins on him to wipe it all up. So the crew sets up a camera up in the nursery and in the living room. Because they are going to be camping out at night. Their psychic, whose name is Jeff, begins to do his reading on the house. He walks over to the bottom of the stairs and looks up. He says, Hey Sally. Instantly, the crew just put their hands over their mouths because this psychic didn't know anything about the house. And every psychic before him, every child that lived in that house, would constantly talk about a Sally. The little girl at the top of the stairs is real. And Jeff is staring at her. He begins to walk up the stairs with Tony and Deborah falling right behind him. When suddenly they hear a groan. Tony nearly falls over, but Deborah catches him. And she immediately knew what had happened. She lifts up the back of his shirt, revealing new scratches. Except these are much different. They're in the form of letters. A big M and C. No one has any idea what this means. And as it became dark outside, the energy became near unbearable. The crew split up, so Jeff and some of the cameramen went upstairs in the nursery, and Tony and some of the others went outside and sat in a circle on the patio. Standing in a pitch black room, Jeff begins to call out, Sally, Sally, Sally. Whoever you are, identify yourself. And then a moaning starts coming from the walls. This moaning grows louder and louder, and it was captured on camera. The same exact moaning that kept Deborah and Tony up every single night. What do you hear? Do you hear it? You hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Suddenly, a powerful energy begins to sway in and out of their bodies. They begin to look around. And then every camera gets taken over by this powerful interference as this energy is swooping by and passing through their bodies. An absolutely unbelievably powerful feeling. And so bizarre that every time it touches you, it feels like an out-of-body experience. And as every hair on their body stands up and begins to crackle, the moaning is getting louder and louder. And as this energy is swirling around Jeff's body, his face begins to burn and scratches start forming down his cheek. All the while, Tony is downstairs and they are filming Scratch's form on his collarbone. These investigations would go on and on, and by the end, Tony's body looked destroyed. Scratches from head to toe. And eventually, they moved out of the house and never looked back. But the paranormal activity did follow them. And that's when Tony decided to get an exorcism, which worked, but it destroyed his body. I can't show you any pictures, but it's pretty gnarly. There's only one time at a much later date where Tony and Deborah went back, and again, they begin to smell something burning. Tony jumps, looks down, lifts up his shirt, and all of his hairs are singed. Oh, crap. When I look at the newer investigations on the house, it seems like the activity isn't as intense anymore. I think that they got visited by something that stayed there for a little bit and then left. The house is definitely haunted, but not as much as it once was. Or maybe this thing followed Tony and Deborah. And maybe it will reappear. <laughs>